guys so today i'm going to be making a stuffed chicken breast recipe and i'm going to be using uh, spinach and cheese to get this done so i have two chicken breasts here um you know that i've trimmed up uh remove the excess skin and fat from it and um yeah these edges are not so perfect but that's okay right because all of this can render off in the cooking process now i want to ensure that both pieces are somewhat um you know equal in portion or equal in size because they're going to be popped into the oven at the same time so my next step here now is to go ahead and uh create somewhat of a pocket for the chicken bread so then what's the easiest um portion of this uh chicken to 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 split be at the side just want to press it down a little bit create the pocket you want to open this now uh you don't have to go too too deep because what you want to ensure see what's happening here you don't want to cut through so this here as a pocket is enough you don't want to slice it all the way through just create that little area so that the cavity can be filled all right so that's one piece and i'm gonna do the same thing on this side all right so you just want to pop it up a little bit make sure that your knife is um sharp once you do this i'm gonna open it up a little bit just pare it down somewhat so that the cavity can receive the filling. Now that this is done, and by the way, you know the drill already, the, the, the chicken would have been double washed, okay, with um, vinegar and also with citrus, okay, lime. So our chicken is actually fresh. So I'm going to go ahead and lightly season this, after which I'm going to be making the uh, stuffing for the chicken. Right, so we have just simply used three seasoning here a little bit of meat seasoning salt and pepper you don't want to overdo this you want that flavor from the chicken to come through and you also want um you know the stuffing itself to work so you don't have to over season um your chicken all right so i do have some local grown spinach now which i'm just gonna wash and i am going to be popping this into my um my pot just to wilt these a little bit to create the stuffing for the chicken now you want to make sure that these um these spinach are washed properly because of course you know that um you know dirt will be there if you look down in the water you can see all that residue so i'm washing this with a little bit of um baking soda very good cleaning agent when it comes to your fruits and vegetables so i'm just allowing it to take its bath here after which it's ready to be prepared so there are lots of action taking place in my kitchen at the moment. You know, I got my crock pot going, I got my rice on the stove. But here I have some garlic butter that I am melting down a little bit, after which I'm going to be adding the spinach to the pot. And to be honest, I don't even have to wait on all of this to be melted, right? Um, you could use a garlic butter spread if that is available. I don't have to wait on all of that. I'm just going to go right ahead and hit the spinach right in its whole form for that pot. Remember that the spinach is going to wilt all the way down. So pretty much you just want to do this and stir fry your greens, soaking up all the flavor of the garlic butter. This is going to be delicious guys, extremely delicious, all right? So in a few minutes, spinach doesn't take long to cook. This doesn't have to be cooked all the way through either because remember that it's going to be going in the center of our chicken and it is going to be um, stuffed, right? I mean, the chicken is going to be stuffed. I said the spinach is going to be stuffed. How crazy of me? But it's going to be stuffed. So even if this is not cooked all the way through, that's fine. So we're just going to keep on um, moving this around in our garlic butter until they are well cooked. See that nice bright green coming through? You know the cooking process is going on. Okay. All right, so our spinach is actually ready. Again, don't mind my background. I do have my crock pot going. So there you have it. It's wilted. I'm going to now go ahead to stuff this in my uh, chicken. All right, so I have um, some cheese. I'm using some uh, white uh, cheddar cheese, actually. It's New Zealand cheese. So I'm just going to put it right here. And then I'm just going to go in ooh, with um the spinach right there on the cheese 
You could use cream cheese if you like for this. Don't mind the scent on the on the um. Don't mind the scent on the um. On the spinach because that too is fine. All right, I have another one here. Just gonna open it up. And going to be going in with the spinach and the cheese. You could um, actually melt the cheese before if you want and put it there. I didn't bother with that because once you put the oven, then naturally it's going to um, it's going to eat up, right? It's gonna heat up. So again, going in with the spinach here. And this has all of that garlic flavor and that butter flavor. And I'm going to be folding all of this over. Alright guys, so now that this is in here, I'm just going to um, I'm gonna fold it. Some persons actually prefer to leave it open like that. I don't. So I'm just going to um, cook. Cook. And I'm just going to use a toothpick. Ooh! To fasten the or fasten the sides, okay, so that we don't necessarily get anything oozing out. Why? The cheese is in there and it's melted, so it's gonna be easy for stuff to um to ooze. All right, so I'm just gonna pop this up on here too. And to the spinach juice already. That's fine. Not everywhere will be closed. All right. Same thing for this one. This is um. One or two more pieces of pieces. Same treatment, alright? So we're just gonna do this. We wanna cook it. And go in. Fasten that section. Press the core. In here, and I'm just gonna put one down this section to ensure that it is secure. All right, now the option is yours. We could choose to just put this on our baking sheet as is, or we could actually choose to put, um, you know, perhaps a little bit of um sauce on the top just to give it a little bit of color. I think I'm just going to brush this with a little tip of soy sauce and honey, right? And then place it on my tray. Alright guys, so I have gone in with um, a little bit of soy sauce, like I said. Some soy sauce and some agave. You could use honey if you have that. And I've added just um, a little bit of cayenne pepper to it. Nothing too fancy. And this is just to give it a little bit of color. So notice how I am brushing it lightly all right so we're not trying to create this big soft mixture or anything like that it's just brushing it so that once it builds up you know it won't be too white so it on both sides you can choose whatever it is that you like to as your sauce twice is yours like i said wanted something to not make it be too too white you know as Caribbean people we don't deal with this bland looking food <laughs> all right so that's that and you can just all sides if you like i'm just doing the top because this is exactly how the chicken is going to be going into the um into the oven all right so i have this here So both pieces are there on my baking sheet and of course my oven is already preheated at about 375 and we're gonna pop this bad boy in there so now wait for the finished product doing its thing here and I know that it is almost done but if we want to be on the safe side what should we do we're just gonna insert our thermometer there if it actually gets, um, let's say, 180 degrees Fahrenheit, then we know that our meat is fully cooked. And if we zoom, let's see what's going on here. Is it going to get to that 180 mark? Let's see. It's about uh, 
160. All right, it's at about 160. We want to get it to about 180. Okay, so we're gonna put this back in there for a few more minutes. All right, caution, never put your thermometer inside of the oven. You have to remove the um, meat from the oven before you um, use your thermometer. All right, so we're gonna pop this back um, on the inside for probably about another 10 minutes or so, and then we'll do another check. There you have it, guys. This is our finished product. This is our spinach and cheese stuffed chicken, okay? So, um, you know, by the look of this, you can tell that it is actually juicy it's creamy it's full of flavor and i just cannot wait for the persons who are going to eat this to tell me how it actually tastes remember i'm taking a break from chicken so i'm not gonna dig in so i have to wait for the critics to let me know how this fared out but really and truly this looks good it really looks good all right guys so um if you like this video you know what to do go ahead give it a thumbs up remember to comment remember to share remember to tell a friend to tell a friend if you are not subscribed to this channel don't waste any more time just hit that post notification bell right now you're gonna be happy that you did all right guys thank you so much for watching and of course see you in the next video